back everybody to another great episode of Texas Veteran Lawn Service. So today we're going to unbox the Cobalt 40 volt max hedge trimmer. Um, picked this up at Lowe's yesterday, it was on sale for about 150 bucks plus tax. Um, so <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Um, I have a gas power hedge trimmer, but uh, I wanted a battery operated one for those small jobs that you know you go out and uh, you're doing a lawn service and landscape and you don't really want to, you know, start up the, the gas trimmer. And you have this guy here, it's it's lightweight, uh, it's actually a little longer, it's 24 inches, where my other one is 18, so um, this is a little easier to maneuver because it's lighter, so that's definitely a, a benefit on that. Um, okay, so, uh, of course, for you guys who don't know, uh, Lowe's sells uh, uh, Cobalt, that's their, their store brand. And um, so uh, that's definitely pretty good. Uh, this is 40 volt, so it does come with the battery and the charger. So we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. I need to get something to open it with. Also picked up the cobalt uh, pack here of uh, utility blades. So uh, as you can see here, it comes with this guy and it comes with different other kinds of blades. You get four different kinds of blades and then several of each. So uh, that's pretty cool. So definitely like that. All right. You know the gas hedge trimmer. I don't use all the time, and when I do, a lot of times uh, it takes me, you know, a few minutes to crank it up because the fuel's been sitting there for a while. Um, but this way, I can. Go ahead and, and uh, put that other hedge trimmer, that gas hedge trimmer, up, and uh, you know put a little bit of stable in there, or the Red Armor uh, fuel, which is good. That'll really preserve. That's actually probably the better one to use is the Red Armor fuel. Um, it's a good storage fuel, and you can also run it on that. So uh, we're definitely going to be picking some of that up. Um, so then that way I can just keep this guy charged for small jobs, and. Um, and when I need the, the big hedge trimmer, you know, the gas power, get all that, that good hefty power, then we can go ahead and, uh, and get that one. All right, so this box is pretty awesome. Um, it's definitely uh, packed in here pretty good. Um, and we got one box here, probably the charger, I guess. It is the charger. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good size. We got a couple battery indicators on here. Oh, I see. So uh, this decal here, here's the light sensor. The decal here, the light indicator, uh, if it's flashing, uh, that means it's charging, it's solid green, it's good. If it's, uh, if it's flashing, that means, you know, maybe the battery's too hot, you know, to be able to, uh, to charge. Sometimes if you're using it and you try to charge it right away, it'll blink, uh, it'll blink that, and that's because it's too hot. Uh, this right here, um, not sure what that means. Um, maybe it needs to cool. Oh, that probably means it need it needs to cool off. This right here means it's probably a damaged battery. There you go. I'm just guessing here. What do I know? Uh, so here it's got uh, two little um, little housings here. So if you want to uh, hang this up on the wall, you can. So you would hang it up this way. So it would go into the screw and then slide down. So therefore the battery will sit here so gravity will hold it and you can hang it up on your wall. So that's pretty cool. Gives you a pretty good length cord there. If you want to find out more about it, uh, you can uh, screenshot that right there. That little decal, that'll tell you more about it. Alright, this is a dual recipient, dual blade reciprocating saw. So what that means is you have two blades. Let's see. Man, great box. You have two blades missing, and I don't need this. So you have two blades. Oh, sorry, not two blades missing. Two blades uh, moving <coughs> simultaneously. So it gives you double cutting action, which is good. Uh, my gas trimmer. That's one thing it doesn't have. It only has a single blade uh, reciprocating, and uh, so. Alright, so just this by itself without the battery is super light. 
I like how the size that it is, that uh, it's not small and puny. Uh, it does have a good, it's almost the exact same size as my gas power. Um, it has a nice hand guard here, so that protects your hands. Um, I would like to see maybe a little higher, um, but then again, it's not a chainsaw. Where the chainsaws are higher, um, it's just a hedge trimmer, so you're not really going to get kicked back of that. Um, but uh, that's still pretty good there. Okay, we got our, our cover here, our, what, our sheath that covers our, our blade. So that's pretty cool. That could probably go either way. Yeah. So, it's a 24 inch dual action blade. So, that means these guys, the bottom and the top, are going. So, that's definitely a major benefit. I've never had one like that. So uh, I'll be interested to see how that works. All right, so in this box, it's probably our battery. It is. All right. Now, <clears throat> there's one thing I want to tell you about batteries. Uh, the, the innovation in batteries is phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> I was looking at another brand uh, at Home Depot. They had a uh, an Ego Pro, something like that. I think Lowe's carries that same brand, and they had one same price. This was one fifty, one forty nine plus tax, and um, but it was a fifty six volt, and the other one, the the Ego Ego Pro, was fifty six volts but two point zero amp hours. This is forty volts but 2.5 amp hours. Both are lithium ion. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind is volts is giving you like the power, the amp hour is giving you the amount of time it can be used. Uh, so this is 2.5, so technically this can last longer than the other one. However, the 56 has more power of cutting. Okay, so it could cut, this is 3 quarter inch, I think the other one might have been 3 quarter inch or maybe 1 inch as well on the cutting. That is the distance uh, here that it's cutting. Um, I can't remember on that part for that other one. But the other thing that the technology goes into on the batteries is just because it says 2.5, that's that's under no load. The 40 watts is under no load. Then when it's under load, it actually drops down a little bit. So how these are made is they can either be made in series or made in parallel. And that's how the batteries are put together in here. Um, uh, so that determines you know, how long it's going to last, uh, how fast it's going to charge, things like that. Um, also how hot the battery gets. The hotter the battery gets, the faster that energy is going to deplete, uh, that, that reserve battery energy. So um, that's definitely uh, something to consider. There's a lot of technology in there, uh, but I, they were both the same price and I already had bought this one. The other one I saw this morning on an ad uh, in Home Depot, so I figured, well, I already have this, so we're going to give this guy a shot. All right. So on the bottom of this battery, you have an indicator, okay, which is pretty cool. So you have four little squares of battery. You have this button. You press the button, and it tells you you have two, all right, you have two squares left, bars left, whatever you want to call that. So uh, I'm pretty sure the owner's manual wants you to fully charge uh, this before you start using it and I definitely recommend that because if you don't what will happen is uh, that battery won't always run right it won't charge fully it'll take forever to charge or it may say it's charged and it's really not charged um, so on here the owner's manual for the that one for the battery one for the charger and one for the actual machine and each one has attached attach your receipt serial number and purchase date that's for the uh, the warranty. So now this warranty has uh, a limited warranty of five year. Hold on, let me get the box. Here we go. A five year tool warranty and a three year battery warranty, limited guarantee. So that's pretty cool. So definitely write those down. So we're going to write those down. Serial numbers should be on these guys. In fact, uh, we have, let's see here, 
model number, okay? Now on this guy right here, we have the serial number there. So, and then the charger is going to have the same. Okay, guys, I just read the instructions on the battery. You do want to fully charge uh, before you start use uh, on this. So, don't even play with it for five or ten minutes. Uh, just automatically start charging the battery. And um, the battery is not shipped fully charged. It is recommended to fully charge before first use to ensure that maximum runtime can be achieved. This lithium-ion battery will not develop a memory and may be charged at any time. A fully discharged battery pack will require approximately 60 minutes, okay, um, or 120 minutes for a 4 amp hour to fully charge from a discharged state. Plus, a char uh, so all right, so that's pretty cool. All right, so remember the indicators we were talking about. Um, uh, when I had that battery at the X, that means charging fault. That means there may be something wrong with it. And that other one is over temperature, so you want to let it to let it cool down. Um, it also tells you um, it was in uh, this one here. The indicators, what the indicators mean. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. Four lights means the battery is fully charged. Three lights means it's at 70% capacity. Two green lights, it's at 45. One green light is at 10% and lights out. The battery is under 10% capacity and requires charging immediately. So, okay guys, well we're gonna be a little rebel here. We're gonna let it, I wanna, I just, I gotta start it. I gotta start it. So we're gonna go ahead and put the battery in. Now, if you look inside, you'll see two springs here. I know it's kinda hard. You'll see two springs here, and then you'll see the little, uh, the male part of the, uh, the battery charging connectors. And, um, and then here you got the female part. So make sure this part faces the back, make sure it faces the back of the housing here. So it just go straight in, pretty easy. All right, oh, ho, ho, ho. So when you put that battery in, you have your battery indicator there. So it's at the top, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh, even with the battery in, that's really light. So you can definitely hold it one-handed. Um, if you, need to get, if you needed to get on top of those shrubs that are a little out of those reach, but that's where the 24 inch blade really comes in. Where my other one is 18 and it's real heavy. Um, so, all right, so we're going to fully charge this guy and then we're going to come right back and we're going to cut some bushes. See you in a bit. Welcome back, guys. Kevin here, Texas Veteran Lawn Service. All right, so we got our battery completely charged, as you can see here. So now. We're going to go ahead and cut a little bit on this. It's not very tough, um, but we need to, we do need to tame it down a little bit. So this will be the first time we're actually using this, so we're going to give this guy a try. And uh, But I think it's going to cut real good. For those who are just tuning in, it's the Cobalt 40 volt Max 2.5 amp hour dual blade 24 inch reciprocating hedge trimmer.
get it. Pretty darn excellent. As you can see here, we need to cut some of these guys here off. Those branches on the fence line we need to cut off too. That was excellent. Very excellent. Well, as far as my first thoughts on this uh, machine uh, it's fantastic so it's definitely something I'm going to use uh, a lot on the job site when I'm out there uh, trimming hedges and tree limbs and things like that that are small up to three quarter inch and um, so this is definitely great like I said lightweight uh, if the battery is completely empty it will fully charge in 60 minutes and for the ones that are the uh, 4.0 amp hours those will take 120 minutes so um, the only thing that I'd like to see different is the safety button um, anytime you, you can't use it unless you push the safety button in either here or there and it has to stay in if you were to push it in and let go of the trigger it locks in place but as soon as you let go then it's back to, to there again so So I'd like to see maybe a different function. Maybe one to where it does lock and the other one to where it really doesn't have a safety. Or maybe a safety to keep you from squeezing it. Well, yeah, it does have that. So that's good. Um, just the fact of having to, you know, if you're, if you're using it and you go like this and then you let go to change directions, you have to hold it back down again. That's kind of a drag, but that's really the only thing. Uh, everything else is fantastic. So um, we've got a project coming up at a customer's house where we're going to need this so uh, definitely excited about that um, so definitely give Lowe's a look for this machine right here I'm Kevin with Texas Better Lawn Service see you on the next one